Hello, and welcome back to Craft the World. This is episode number 29 in our playthrough of the campaign, and we are going to jump right in and get started. We have an invasion about to happen, and the king, King Spar, is out here arguing with the uh, the backpacker. He's like, get in town. we got to fight. And he's like, no, i got stuff to carry. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go help the king here, because it's true. you got to get into town and get ready for the battle. Here it is. Undead coming from the right. Oh, just one portal today? Oh, only one portal today. Last time last time we had two portals. Oh, pfft, yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh, right in Grunt's gut once again. Grunt, I don't know what they like about your gut, my friend, but they... Are, whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause, pause the action. Everybody get home. Come on, get in the house, you ding-dongs. Let's get everybody together. I have literally done nothing since the last episode, everyone. This is, uh, this is exactly where we left off. I had brought my son to college... The last week, and uh, I haven't played at all. Now, why are you so angry? Comfort none down here, but we got lots of comfort up here. Oh, the window! The window! Right, I forgot about that. The window. Look, we popped the window out. All right, somebody. Oh, listen to the clock. That's cool. Somebody, please put a window back in. <laughs> we need comfort down here. Uh, we got the armies knocking on the front gates, and we're missing a window. That's probably a comfort item. Now, we had made some stained glass. Oh, there it is. It's already down there. Oh, while we're here, let's just go ahead and get, like, mana potions and all that fun stuff down here and get ready for the battle. Um, oh, I have to equip these guys, too, with the, the arrows. Oh, I didn't make any of the silver arrows. <gasps> Ooh, what the heck did we do last game? So, we want the fireball. Oh, and by the way, the mana potions now do... They restore five mana. Now, we're going to need it because we only have 21 minutes. We might need it anyway. And we have the health potions we're going to bring out, too. And the Elixir of Fireball. These get used automatically, I'm pretty sure. But we're going to keep an eye on that. that in the last, I think we had proved that in the last episode. We've got some silver armor here waiting to be put on. And what else happened? Yeah, with the updates, the uh, wizards and the archers now don't rush forward to attack the enemy. Like they did before. Apparently they would get up real close. So now they're supposed to hang back. Which obviously makes a heck of a lot more sense. So we're going to give uh, Alaric. We'll give you the fire arrows, dude. And you can share the fire arrows with Clash. And then we're going to give Millie Vanilli, who is an archer 42, the silver arrows. There we go. Awesome. And everybody else. Oh, we have a, uh, another Yatagon. Right, Yatagon. Let's give it to our other swordsman. Here we go. Brock. Since he's going to be the most effective with this thing. And now he has a silver sword. So we can give that. I think everybody has silver swords at this point. Oh, what, what, what was that? That's a steel. All right. Well, let's give you a silver sword, my friend. Glowin. Ooh, Glowin got an upgrade today. Glowin got some upgrades. Okay. I think we're going to be ready for this battle now. Skeleton Saber. That's junk. All right. Um, oh, I didn't have even looked at health or food. I think everybody's in pretty good shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, and the window. So somebody put the window in, please. And we'll fix the other window later. <laughs> I want to remove this one and, and uh, do the same. Hey, guys, get the window. Do I have to do that for that? Oh, this happened last time. They'll stand around. Come on, guys. Window. Forget about it. All right. Get that guy. So we have... Oh, we have one, at least one mace boss. They're the ones we're really worried about. Oh, gosh. We better hit him with fireballs. Not too worried about the beholders. But let's hit him with the fireball anyway. Boom! Oh, I think fireballs are doing less damage now, too, it seems. Whoa. Because it, it was doing a lot more last time we used it. Now we're down to two mana. Eat gas. Alright, now. Drink up. Why aren't you guys fighting? Guys, come on. Okay, I have to click on an enemy for them to come out. Sheepers crow. Alright, now. Let's go back to the right. We have a fight going on here. Do we have any mace bosses? We do. We better whack them. Two mace bosses. I'm gonna hit these guys while they're all bunched up like that. <gasps> oh, we got a new dwarf! Wow, it's been a long time since we got a new dwarf. Look at him! He's, he's like a little peasant. Dude, he's got like leather hat and everything. 
This is so... So primitive. The old dwarves. From, he must be from the old country. Coming from the old country. <laughs> what do you mean? What are you flipping out for? We haven't won the battle. These guys are all woohoo. Population grew. Oh, they're just excited about the population growing. Okay. Let's blast them one more time. Wow. How did I get that? Oh, when we got upgraded, we got a full mana blast. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to be a piece of cake. Guys, piece of cake. Get in there, kill that dude. I'll back you up. Whoops. Oh. I'll back you up with a little fireball too. Boom! We do want some. Oh, where are you going? We do want some experience killing these guys. So nice, nice. We just don't want them to get to our towers, of course. All right, come on onto this side now. Get this guy. Hum tum tum tar. Two mace bosses can be pretty, pretty brutal. But you know what? We'll let them get through. Um, they're gonna they're gonna slow down here in the cages and everything. So we'll let the towers do a little damage. Look at the thing just pushing everybody back. <laughs> All right, somebody is using these uh, flamey things. So don't worry about the brains. Let the imps do that. Let's get the imps out. Now that I put them away, they're, they're all like concerned about it. There's a brain in the ground, but go get it. Um, no. Don't go get it. And where's our new guy? I gotta get him some armor before he gets trounced. Uh, impy, impy, imp. Here we go. Uh, let's do this. Still nobody's doing my... No, 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 no. Back, back, back. No, 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 no. Let, let the defenses do a little bit of work first. Okay, no. <laughs> I guess... Never mind. There we go. Okay. Oh, damn. Dang it, he's going down? No, 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 no. You better run, you turkeys. They're all running. Those other guys are running. Ha, ha, ha. Here, you guys, use a scaffold and kill him. Take him down, boys. Yeah. Nice. They are running in fear. The dwarves are victorious once again. Put a window in that hole. Ye gads. All right, well... Let's do that. Let's take this one out, too. Actually, can I just do, like, a replacement window? Oh. Huh. Yeah, maybe. All right, let's get... Um... Oh, there are a bunch of achievements were added, too. So I have a new achievement palace. Maybe if I get a certain... 100%! We're the happiest dwarves in the world! Hey, guys, come on. There we go. Stained glass, isn't that beautiful? It is beautiful. Should we put some more stained glass? We got two more pieces. Huh. All right, well, now that the battle's over, we have a moment here to think about what to do. I don't want these guys standing around like this, looking purdy. Um, so we have some stuff to get cranking on. And I can't believe that guy actually busted through that. One of the things I wanted to do is build this brick across this way, right? So they have a straight line. I'll do that eventually. I'm not going to do that right now, but I, what I think I might do, however, is at least put... Let's put some stone down here, at the very least. Well, I guess we had stone there before, didn't we? Took them a while to get through it, though, which is nice. All right, let me just pause the action. Let's take a look at some stuff here. We have to repair the portal, which we're going to ignore for a little while. We have engineering. We should craft items to complete the study of engineering. Nice. Check this out. I think we got our Tesla tower. <gasps> Ooh, yes, we do. Uh-huh. So we did a luxury decorating. I'm not even sure if we put everything out yet. I don't think so. So we'll do that today. And then we're going to start working on some of this stuff. We have a steel door, which we haven't really had any need for doors yet. I mean, we're fighting up here on the top. Um, you know, the, the enemy busts through the walls anyway. So I don't know. I don't think the doors really make a whole lot of sense right now. Uh, unless we want to, you know, hunker down inside and not allow them to get to us. Maybe the Tesla Towers will do a lot of the damage. We can sit behind closed doors. We'll see. An elevator looks amazing. Haha, oh, check it out. We have a... Oh, we actually have a metal wheel on... Uh, in stock. Let's see what this thing does. Elevator is installed in a vertical shaft and can quickly transport several doors between floors. That's going to be so nice for getting around. No more ladder system, like super long ladder system. We're going to go all the way down to the ground. We're going to see how deeply we can go. And now we can start getting into the mithril. 
which is down deep and I have just enough of everything here well at least the planks and the metal wheel we have an oil let's make one and it's instantly crafted and I have no idea how it works we're gonna go have a dwarf install it in the, in the earth somewhere to shaft and we'll play it by ear this is trial and error that's how these dwarves operate and what else Tesla Tower. This one's going to be very exciting. Ooh, what the heck? Mithril ore. We don't have any yet. We're going to get some. Tesla Tower is a defensive tower. Strike Tower strikes attacking enemies with lightning. Can be improved up to a third level by building additional sections above it. Really? So you can add to it somehow. Maybe a Tesla on top of a Tesla on top of a Tesla? I guess. But how expensive is this? Gold, mithril, etc. We, ha we have to get some mithril. We might actually have some, but I don't think... Oh, no, we don't, because that would show that we do. I thought maybe we did, we just haven't refined it, but it doesn't require refining. And a warehouse. Is this an upgrade to our stockpile? It's a warehouse. It needs a flag, an iron axe, pickaxe. It needs all this stuff and a workbench. Maybe it's like a work... Oh, it must be an upgraded workbench. I bet that's what it is. Yeah, so this looks like it's something that we craft upon, and maybe it works faster, and maybe it opens up some new stuff or something. I don't know, but we have a lot of ingredients that we are missing at the moment, and they need to be made up, like planks, for example. So we're going to get started doing this, and then I'm going to get some dwarves out um, into the world start gathering some stuff because we are a little bit behind as far as this stuff goes uh, it was great that we got a whole full mana thing back 100 mana and let us equip our new dwarf let's go say hello let's see who he is Leto Leto the sh Leto the shoeless <laughs> all right Leto we are man you came at the right time because we have some stuff for you I love the red hair. He, he comes with a stone knife. Leto does. They can't get rid of your ordinary shirt, man. They won't even undress for us. We want to give you some good stuff. You got to take off your shirt. Fine. Be that way. We're going to give you some steel armor. As a rookie, you get the steel. I think you're one of the few with steel still. How about if we give you a rusty helmet? I think the rookie should get the rusty helmet for now. Um, because he shouldn't meet anyone else's eyes until he's worthy. Let's give, we will give you some shoes. Nice iron shoes. Oh, you're stubbing a toe. And then you're going to cause all kinds of accidents and con and congestion on the highways. So we're doing that for you because we love you. So, f well, we, no, we don't. We don't love you. Wow. All right, 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 right. This is just a test right now. That's his axe. I forgot he's using them. His knife does everything for him. Uh, so now you get an iron axe, an iron pickaxe. Don't be complaining. I know it's not steel or silver or anything yet, but you know, you gotta earn your keep here, brother. And we're gonna you're gonna earn your keep with a nice solid backpack by a hauling. So get out there and haul. You know, you're a smith, huh? What else can we make you? Hunter, Miller, we don't even use half of this stuff. I don't get it. Most of it's completely silly. Like hunter? I don't know. It doesn't really come into play very often. Oh boy, we should make some more elixirs too. Uh, we're going to need arrows. So I'm going to get a lot of stuff going. I'm going to put everybody to work. Where is Leto? Leto! Look for the cap. The bucket helm. Where is this bucket helm? Bucket helm noob. What are you shooting? I hope you're not using the good stuff. Please tell me you're not using the good stuff on that. Who are you? I wish I had the names over the heads. Come on, can we do that? Really? Uh... Oh, we're all out of the good arrows. Okay. So they use them all up for the war. Fine. All right, you guys, let the bats do the hauling. We're going to get you guys digging. Digging down deep into the earth. And we're going to find some mithril. I think that's silver. Oh, here's mithril. But this looks like a nice place for an elevator, doesn't it? Since we already have the ladder here, I can just dig down, 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 down. Whoa. How far deep can we go? Oh, wow. Oh, I guess that's it. So, yeah, let's see. Let's just pause the action. I don't want them doing anything right now, wasting energy and stuffs. Um, 
Oh, you know what we should do? Put everybody to sleep. Who needs to go to sleep? So much to do. So much to do. Uh, let's see. Anybody want to sleep? Yes, you. Go rest. You're good, you're good, you're good. Everybody's in pretty good shape. You can go rest. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I've got most of the dwarves hard at work here, just putting up the perimeter defenses again, and I want to talk about these traps. So I found these traps in inventory. We had them hanging around. I had seven of them, so I'm going to put these out because they have been upgraded in the last patch. They now have three uses, so they can trap three monsters instead of one. They used to be kind of pointless. You know, they'd capture one monster, and then it was done, and you have to build them again, and I thought that was not really worth the effort. But, um... They've been upgraded. So, I'm gonna go ahead and utilize those. We'll save on a little bit of wood. And now, it is time to... get this elevator working, but before we do that, I need to put a bed down for a new dwarf. Echo. What, wait, what, 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 what was his name again? Eco. Miko. Echo. Dingo. Ding dong. Who spar? Dude. Go take a break, King. King's been working hard. Lido. All right, let's um, yeah, let's go to the. Where's my king? I want him to go back home and go to rest. Working hard as the king. You shouldn't do that. And eat while you're at it. Or eat. All right, eat after. Let's put the bed down for the new guy. There we go. He gets a pretty good, comfortable bed, in fact. Not too shabby for a rookie. We'll take care of our own. Now we've got to make space for this elevator. I have actually um, messed around with it a little bit off camera. And I have an idea now of how it works. It does take up a lot of space. So can you get that little thing right there? No? Maybe that's just part of the decoration. The background. And har har. Yeah, get him. So what we need to do is make sure it has a shaft and just empty space beneath it. And um, and the dwarves will ride it up and down. You only need one, which is nice. And the farther you dig, the deeper you dig down, the, uh, the farther this thing will send your dwarves. Allow them to travel. It's really cool. So, you know what I should do then? Let's make this shaft... Like that, and these guys are gonna fall right down, probably, right? This is a good spot for it, just in case somebody falls down there, because they are kind of dumb like that. Oh, I want to put this new lamp. So these new lamps, right? We made these lamps in the last episode, we just never put them out. Let me put one right here, as soon as that guy gets rid of that. There you go. Oh, it's Leto! Leto the noob! Look at you working hard. Good man, you deserve- here. I was gonna give you a beer, but- no. There you go, big fella! Everybody drink. We made a lot of beer. And whoa! Why? Why did you try to jump that? That was dumb. Put that in. And that was good. They don't have to run around like you're running around and jumping, leaping like little squirrels. It looks fine. It looks fine. I swear it is. Stop staring at it. Now that ought to work. Yay! Look at check it out. All right, get rid of these. Get rid of these. There it is. There's a little bucket down here. And they can ride up and down. And get rid of the ladder now. Get rid of the ladder because we want you guys to use this thing. And I think if we get rid of that, it'll go down another one. Yeah. Take a ride. Whee! <laughs> He's like, uh, my turn. <laughs> you got to press the button. Press the button. It doesn't come back up until you press the button. All right. Well, we got to give him something to do. So let's go down here. This will give him something to do. Look at that. They know where to go. Takes it down here to get under it. Okay. Yeah, oops. Well, if he just took the elevator the whole way down, it wouldn't have happened. And now we want to get to this right here. So I think what we'll do is have the elevator come all the way down to about here. And we'll open all this up. We got some silver. And then we're going to go right down here and get that. Then we can make a Tesla. I think the Tesla only takes one, right? Got our do not go beyond this point because the big dead elf dude will shoot you in the face with fireballs. Oh, that's so awesome, man. We can get rid of all these ladders now. So we'll put one on this side, put one on the other side. We'll go, go down deep into the hole. Now, what are you doing over there, you fool? You. Ay, ay, ay. What's wrong with you? Could you get off there? Stop. Take it. 
Oh my gosh, just take the... Okay, fine. <laughs> Why can't you guys get over here? Yeah, fine, okay. Well, what, until they figure out how to use this ladder, I mean the elevator, I guess they're just going to do dumb things. And here comes our Mithril. Well, he's talking to the Sire. Maybe I shouldn't go beyond that. Says not to go past it. Must be something scary. Looks like a monster. Uh, well, I guess I'll just stay here then. <laughs> now, how high are these? Um... Let me put a lamp here. Because this looks like we're going to get a lot of work done. Here comes the Mithril. Come on, dude. You can do it. Our first mithril. Oh, there's gold down here. Look at all the gold. Digging deep. Woo! Come on, chief. Hurry up with that. I want to put this lamp down. I should give him some tea or some beer or something. But I don't want to interrupt him. Yay! Got it. Now, bring it on home. Hurry up. Okay, we get a lamp. Now, everybody get back home. I'm curious to see how they actually try to get back home. Oh, whoop. Going up, going down. Which way are we going, fellas? I'm gonna get rid of all this. Collect my scaffolding. And he's still staring at that sign. He, he is ignoring me. King Spar, please go home. Go eat. Nope. Oh, maybe he can't get to it. He can't just jump down there? Maybe not. That That's the problem. Okay, then you dig down. You can dig that. My gosh. I guess I have to be able to get to the, uh, get to the elevator to use it. That makes sense. All right, let him dig down here. All right, well, that's kind of cool. I'm going to work on that a little bit, work on my elevator skills, try to figure that out a little bit uh, a little bit more. Um, in the meantime, let's go ahead and make our Tesla Tower. Now that we have one mithril ore, we have some glass, we have a little bit of quartz, two ingots, just enough, two gold ingots, that is, some stone, a silver ingot, and it's going to take a little time to make. And in the meantime, let's craft up some golden bars. I know I have extra gold here. Ooh, not much. But we'll make a couple of those. And then uh, we'll put this Tesla tower out. I'm not sure what kind of range it has, but I think I'll remove this. I'll put it right in front of the arrow tower. Or maybe remove these. The problem with removing the arrow towers is they'll be destroyed. Um, yeah, I'll put them here, right in front. And I think we can stack them up one on the other, right? At least that's how I interpret that whole, uh, you can, they can be upgraded. Okay, for our final act in this episode, let's put this Tesla Tower out. Let's put it behind the Arrow Tower. Whoops, I gotta get the action going here again. And I think once we get a straight road here, the enemy will come right at the stockpile. And take this right on the chin. As long as they're in range. And I don't know what the range is. Oh, that's excellent. That is excellent. We just need something to shoot at. Awesome. All right. Well, that's it for now. We're just going to have to test it when we get attacked. In the meantime, I'm going to work on my elevator here. I'm going to get some more gold, some more silver. I'm going to find some more mithril. And try to get another tower on the other side. But there's lots of... Lots of ore down here, so I'm going to expand my elevator shaft and get to work. So, anyway, that's it for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.